Well, there's something new coming out of a very old place in Elk Ridge. There's an archaeological dig happening in the historic Elk Ridge furnace site. It was one of the biggest iron producers in Maryland in the 17 and 1800s. WMER 2 News' Don Harrison was there and uh, dug up some interesting facts for us. This is an archaeological dig in Elk Ridge at the historic Elk Ridge furnace site. It's a joint project with the Department of Natural Resources and the Maryland Department of Transportation. There are two old cabins on the site, and early artifacts say this was not just a place of work. Yes, this is where people live. This area was bustling in the early 19th century. It was huge. There were stores, there were businesses, there were people's houses, there were laborers living all across this area. You don't have to go underground to learn things. How they built these cabins are clues in itself. You start getting nails that are machine cut at a factory, and that's what we're finding here. So that's telling us this building was built no earlier than about 1820. Slave, indentured servants, and convicts worked at the iron furnace. When the history books go silent and there's not a lot of written information, they go into the ground. They can gain a lot by this pottery, by what type of pottery, the design, and the color they used. We also have sponge decorated wares, which are out of a blue color. And those are very, very common on places where enslaved people lived because they were cheap, cheaply decorated and made. And so those are the types of items that they would have had in their homes. The stem of a pipe was unearthed as well. An interesting thing about this one, it's McDougal, which was from Glasgow, Scotland, and it says, Hail Columbia. This is telling me it's the early 1800s and was smoked by someone who lived in one of these cabins. With this new knowledge, they hope to reconstruct these cabins to what they looked like in the early 1800s. In Elkridge, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.